people are always asking the question, well, what are the signs of the times? What's uh, going to happen? How is this supposed to take place? Or which comes first and which comes second? Well, the Book of Mormon is the answer to all of those questions. The Book of Mormon is the pattern of the last days. If we take the most fundamental and the key prophetic events of the latter days, and we organize them in a time-ordered fashion, and then we take this model and we lay out the Book of Mormon history on top of it, we find something incredible, something that gives clear evidence, in my opinion, that Mormon and Moroni truly saw our day, and they understood our history far better than we do. This is the Book of Mormon account, and we are in the middle of it uh, right now. The Book of Mormon has answers that are found nowhere else. The Book of Mormon has situations that are found nowhere else. It'll tell you everything. You get it all right there. All you have to do is follow that the rest of your life and you, you'll be okay. Those people lived their lives out and their prophets wrote these things down for one purpose, to warn us. shows Nephi uh, what would happen in our day. If you look to the prophets of the Book of Mormon, all of them picked out specific lessons, specific principles that would apply to us today. The Book of Mormon came to me to be alive with truths that were absolutely essential for the times that we live in. It was meant to be found, it was meant to be translated, it was meant for us today. As a parallel to our time, you look at the founding of this nation and there were covenants that were made. The covenant was central in the founding of this nation. It is as if they had the words of the Book of Mormon in their hands. It's as if they were repeating the words of Father Lehi, the words of Captain Moroni. They understood this covenant and it is probably the greatest part of our history. Over and over again in the Book of Mormon, and perhaps with the greatest pleading of anything, there is a yearning that those who come to this land recognize, speaking to us, that it is a covenant land. Those who will learn nothing from history are condemned to repeat it.